you guys, it's Dylan from DK Paintball, and today I'm making my very first video for my new channel, and it is going to be a tutorial on how to complete, completely disassemble and reassemble a Milsig First Strike Mag. So, you know, maybe you just bought a Milsig and you had a break in your mag, and you want to know how to take your mag apart without, like, screwing up, you know, you open it, you don't know how to close it again, like, you don't know how to put everything back. Well, I got you covered. So, all you're going to need to take it apart is a screwdriver. That's it. That's the only tool you'll need today during this. So let's get that to focus again. There you go. And let's just unscrew real quick. Screws. Well, you make sure you don't lose them because, you know, then you can't close your Mac again. Don't suck. There you go. Just put your screws out of the way and you're done with your screwdriver for now. So all you want to do. Just get your nail onto one of the corners and just lift. It might get stuck over there. There you go. Alright, so now you have this mess. This comes out, you just lift, and then you just pull the spring out. And then you have this spring over here. I suggest you do not wash this because it has springs in here. I got that to focus. There you go. There's springs in here, and this is metal as well, and you do not want that to rust, you know, because it will get stuck, and it'll be horrible. So the rest of this is plastic, you can just throw a paper towel or a squeegee or something down there, and clean that out. So we're done with that for now. And then you have your frame here, this can just be thrown in the sink, wash it, make sure it's dry so you don't want things to rust. And over here, you have your... Uh, your winch so just you just pull it up and then you have your two metal rod things here so this can be like wash with paper towel and yeah, if you want to wash the rest of the mag you just take out these two rods if I can get them out there you go there's one and two so those just go there and you can throw these both in the sink wash them as you please just make sure they're dry because you don't want the metal things to rust. So yeah. Now you have everything washed. Oh, by the way, this also comes out here. This is not just a random part. You need this. Uh, so now you have everything washed, and you want to put it back together. Let's do that now. You're gonna want. You're gonna want this part of your mag. There you go. That's focused. So it's the one where you put all the rods and stuff. This is just the case that goes over. So yes. So we're gonna put our we're gonna put our rods back in. So all right, so though they're in, just saying for these mags, they do not stay in at all. It is a pain in the ass. It's horrible. These ones, you know, you can shake it around. They won't come out if you move this one the slightest. The two rods will fall out, and it is horrible. You know, I can do a tutorial on. This mag as well, if you want. They're virtually the same. This one holds first strikes. This one doesn't. Only a difference. So yeah, now you have that done. You want to get your winch, and that's perfectly fine. So you're gonna to want to put this plastic thing in here with the long side going in first, so that you can see through the holes. Like that. And you just want to have your winder part going through the circle down there you know, because you want to wind it, and just pull the spring back, put it through the holes, let's get it to fit, come on, work for me, there, there you go, so that fits through there, you're going to want to pull your spring, so it fits comfortably down there, and you have your wire, going through this little hole there and your spring just resting there so now you're gonna wanna wind your spring through your mag so it's like that it's not gonna stay perfectly cause you know it's just resting there but now you're gonna wanna put your casing over and don't worry I haven't forgot the other part it just makes it a whole lot easier when you put it in after so now you just wanna clamp it down like that and then you have your spring out like this so you're just going to want to wind it and just put your spring in like so it fits there you go 
just wind it a bit. Now, you have your top piece. You want to open it at the bottom, or at the top here, a little bit. Not too much so the spring doesn't fall out. You just want to manage it. Oh, that way. No, never mind. You just want to make sure you can get it in. Go on, go on. There you go. And then you just want to close it. And then you want to release. So that release fine. Just twist it once more. Or wind it once more. Sorry, you guys, my camera cut out there for a sec. But as I was saying, you just want to twist again. Just to make sure it's all good. Then release. If that works fine. You are virtually done. All you gotta do is just put your screws in. Make sure you don't let go because there is a lot of tension in there and you do not want it to pop open because then you'll have to repeat everything over again. And put the last screw in. Now let's go for one more. Wind. And release. Perfect. So yeah, that is how you disassemble and reassemble a Milsig mag. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and maybe a sub since, you know, it's my first video, new channel and stuff like that. It would be very, very appreciated. And yeah, so I should have more videos coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. See ya.